Okay, we're back. And uh, I'm bringing the Voron back to the garage. Uh, in the last one, we went and got that uh, scout tower. And I want to make this thing slightly less overpowered. Except I'm, uh, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Uh, yes, I am. We need to go. I needed to go the other way. That's all right. It's a little bit too fast for my liking. I think I'm going to drop the motor down. Um, like this is auto. I don't know if I'm going to change the tires. I, I, I like having the good tires, but I, again, I feel like they're maybe a touch on the overpowered side. I think that's the goal. Um, I don't want mods to feel like I'm cheating. Um, so we're going to make the, because the mod trucks all have the option essentially to be you know, not as overpowered. So let's take a look in the garage. Then we're going to do some more exploring today. Okay. So this, I feel like this, the word OP is what, uh, <laughs> what did it there? Um, is there one that gives me better fuel economy? Power output and fuel consumption. I feel like they're all good, really. That one gets me a little better fuel economy. I feel like they're all probably really good. Let's try this one. Let's try the base one. Or the lowest one, I should say. Um, we're going to leave the off-road gearbox. We're going to leave the high stiff because it's recommended to use for the trailer or for the. OK, so let's take a look at tires. So there is like some. Those are really. Overpowered, aren't they? So these are like regular old tires. I could just run MHS ones. I could run OHD chains. Could run MSH one chains. Why don't we do that? Let's run these tires. Because I feel these mod ones are probably a touch powerful, but we'll leave that in there. I think the rest of the stuff will leave. Okay. So, uh, before we take off, I want to go this way. There's an upgrade down here somewhere. Down this way somewhere. And then there's this bridge. With Wood planks, service spare parts. Where's wood planks from? Wood planks are from over there. Okay, so we could, we'll come back. We'll probably get that bridge done. There's a bridge over here that needs to get done. I'm not peeking at SnowRunner. Sorry. You're not seeing this. So I was checking out the fuel situation as well, seeing as this uh, fuel trailer is almost empty um but there's actually a whole bunch of these little scout trailers on this map so i think we'll be okay i think we'll be okay all right so let's uh get where we need to go to get to this where did i go here All right, let's get out of this ditch. I did not need to go that way. 
So yeah, let's see what it does in auto now. If it's not like the fastest truck alive. You know the Vorons are speedy. So it's still pretty fast, but let's see what high is. Yeah, high is still absurdly fast. It's probably just the tuning of this truck. Still like it. Yeah, these tires are not not as overpowered feeling, which is nice. These are actually base game truck tires. Uh, the MS, MSH1s or MHS1s, I forget which one it said it was. Uh, with chains is an option in the game. It's a mud tire with the chain on it. Not the best tire, but still gives us that ice protection. Down here, there it is. I was going to say, it's down here somewhere. Okay. What is this upgrade? Ooh. Engine. Dairy Longhorn. Okay, and... Oh, and the Ankh. Okay. Alright, so let's... Get out of here. Not into the lake. And then we're going to go up around the other way and snag ourselves a couple of wood planks from the lumber mill. Uh, which way did we come up here? This way. Uh, we got to go this way. Actually, didn't didn't discover the lumber mill from our skip. It's this way. I don't know why I'm using this. I'm gonna have a mouse here that I'm just way better at. So hopefully, we will get this bridge done, and then we can get the rest of the scouting done in this map. And then we have one more map to do scouting on. Which is Pedro Bay. And then I think we're going to use the... Uh, probably... The Resvani. Oh, okay. A little bit of a... A little bit of a tree issue there. So it's morning again. It's coffee time. Um, I'm doing this again. This is one more pre-recorded. Scene is... Uh, I'm going out of town on Christmas Day, coming back the day after, which then would put us at Tuesday, which then... Would give me only like that evening to record and edit a video for the Wednesday episode, which is what this one's going to be. So hopefully, by now, everybody is uh, holidayed out and they're relaxing, doing a little bit of maybe maybe back to work, uh, maybe not back to work, maybe spending some time doing some things, doing some shopping. Who knows? Let's see what high does again. This, I feel like high is like turbo fast in this thing. Yeah, it's it's pretty quick. I think it's just the nature of this Voron. It's just a fast truck. Let's do low again. I like I like the pace of the low high. Yeah, these tires don't feel quite as overpowered, but they are definitely good. Ooh, this is some mud. Yeah, this is this is a little more realistic. That's better. 
that's kind of what I was looking for. Not super powerful engine, not super powerful tires, but uh, useful, right? Mob that has uh, some add-ons, some a crane, the ability to tow, tow a trailer with the crane, some extra fuel, all that good stuff. Yeah, and then there's one more mod truck that I definitely am going to buy. Uh, it's that Azov. So instead of buying the 10x10 10 10 Azov 7, there's a mod truck that I found that I don't have the money for yet. We'll get to that eventually. Uh, the Azov 5319. Um, pretty good truck in the game as well but uh, a little low on fuel. Well, this one has extra fuel, extra add-ons, and it has like a really unique um, add-on that lets you carry some fuel and repair parts and a crane and a two-slot bed. Um, so I like stuff like that. Oh, this tree's gonna be in the way, isn't it? Nope, yes, yes it is. <laughs> I'm like, can I drive over it? No, nope. guess not. I think I'm, uh, besides for that little throat clearing there, I'm uh, pretty much done being sick, which is good. I'm very happy about that. Means I can go visit everybody. Okay, so wood planks, and then... Get ourselves back out of here. So I think... Unless it's the fuel trailer that we grabbed. I don't remember where we grabbed this fuel trailer from. I don't remember if it was at the gas station or not. So there's, according to Map Runner, there's... Let me just make sure again. Give me one second. Yep. Okay, so oop, I'm zooming in the game as well. Um, so there's one where we're going to. So we'll be okay. We'll get the one where we're going that I know I haven't even discovered yet. Because there's one possibly at the fuel station. I don't know if that's the one we grabbed. I think it is. And then there's one up here. So they're sort of hidden because they're by like hubs of things that you already see essentially like a, a trailer icon or store, you know, trailer store, that kind of thing. So like, right, it's hard to see them on map runner, but I think there's three or four scout field trailers on this map. Um, so that's, you know, almost a thousand gallons of fuel on this map. Alright, let's get out of here. We're gonna overload this thing for the first time too and see how it does. We gotta go get two service spare parts as well for this bridge. Um Hope I did this in the right order. I don't know if it's a two step quest or not. But yeah, this sort of unlocks the region then. I believe that gets all of the bridges that are Pesky and in the way done. Yeah, this is uh this is feeling a lot better. Like I said, the I didn't want it to I didn't want to portray Alaska as super easy, but I also wanted something better than the vanilla game trucks. But if you do, you know, modded trucks, obviously, sometimes it uh, 
gets a little easy, so. It is pretty good on the fuel, though. Not using a ton of fuel, especially in this high. Uh, let's make sure I don't miss my turn. Let's not miss the turn. It is right here. And we can go get some service spare parts from here. And then the bridge is just up this way. So yeah, even, uh, even in rear wheel drive on the road here, with the chain tires, I don't feel any uh, ice slipping, which is sort of the goal. Maybe we'll use, actually, maybe we'll use the, uh, I completely forgot that we bought the uh, Lodestar. We'll use the Lodestar for uh, Petru Bay. I love that truck. Good vanilla game truck that you can use as a scout can tow trailers. Because like I said, the uh, Resvani can't tow trailers. It's going to irritate me if you run across any scout fuel trailers. <laughs> Or maybe we'll take one from here. Oop, 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 oop. Just, just about missed uh, doing damage to myself there, but oh well. Okay, let's get service bear parts on the loading platform and try out this act. Actually, try out this crane for the first time. Uh, what am I doing? Pressing the wrong buttons. Forgetting what buttons I have to uh, play this game. So uh, I realized. Remember, if it was this truck or the other truck, there was that moment where I was not really able. I think it was the uh, yeah, it was the Fleet Star, but the crane was like not going down well. And I realized that probably the better way to do it would be to. Put stuff as far back as possible instead of as far forward as possible. So I'm going to try and get this to where one fits just barely behind it. And then I might should be able to put this crane all the way down and pinch it. Okay. So let's get one more. Kinda like so. That's my theory at least. See if it works. How about if I go more like that? Well that's kinda weird, but it works. It's holding them both. Uh Okay, let's go like that. How's that? That's better. I think, think that won't go anywhere. We'll find out. If we need to pick it up, we, we pick it up. Oh, let's not go in uh, turbo Voron speed, though. Let's do low. See how it does low. Oh, yeah, that really sips gas, doesn't it? Yeah, this engine is definitely... This engine was a better choice. Go for the one that gets better fuel. Fuel economy. The question is, when we get down here... 
Do we have to backtrack to get to that path, or can I cut through the snow? I'm looking on the map runner as well, and there's a... So where the fuel trailer is that we're going to go get, just up this hill. Like right where that building is. Up there. Yep, it is a two-part. Um, let's see. So our crane. So I had it in the right order, which is good. Otherwise, that would have been annoying. Okay, so that should be the last bridge of this zone. Then we can get everywhere. And let's go across and grab this fuel trailer. Um, what is the, what is the, oh, what is this, what is this, what is this, there's a, there is a fuel trailer on this map, I knew it, it's a big one, that's a quest one, you could have used that, it's probably full. It was the one that's for this task. I knew there was a fuel trailer on this map. Okay, well, uh, we definitely don't have to worry about fuel on this map anymore. We'll do that quest later. We'll use up some of its fuel first. Because as you know, mission trailers that are fuel trailers can be returned as long as you return them with 10% of the fuel. So if it's like 900 gallons, you need to return it with 90. Ooh, another big trailer. All right. Uh, okay, so there's here's a something. Well, that was the two service spare parts. We could have just grabbed them from there. Sorry, right, but we weren't across the bridge yet. So how would we have done that? We would have had to gone around, I think. I guess there is sort of a way around, isn't there? There is sort of a way around. So where is my fuel trailer? There it is. I see the scout fuel trailer right here. Is this one I can use as well? Can I bring this guy with us? Probably. I think this thing can hook up to... Uh, I think we did that before. Let's see if this one can hook up to scout trailers. I feel like we did that with the last one as well. I'm forgetting already. Okay. That one's full. So this will just be our friend for a little while. We'll bring it along with us. Okay, so I can't get through that way. Because there is like wall. But I can get through this way, it looks like. I want to get to this path. Let's see how terrible this is, how deep of snow this is. Yeah, see, there's a scout or a watchtower right here. Only one way to find out. I was watching uh, one of Friday's videos the other day, and he had this trailer, one of those big long trailers. And mind you, I was. Oops. I was like very intently paying attention because he was having problems getting it underneath uh, pipes and whatnot and then uh, got it kind of stuck in the woods and he was like dragging it out of the woods and I was like that is a lot of work. <laughs> I think I would have just reset the task. I would have cheated. But, as I always like to say, I like watching other people's contact, content. Um, ooh. 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 Okay. Alright. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes uh, just watching people play games is as fun as playing the game yourself. I don't really understand that feeling but if you get that feeling as well let me know because 
gives you ideas and you can then you can like use those ideas like i said i'm gonna i'm gonna use his uh his path he went around down to the south and there's one path that actually had a tall enough pipeline for that big trailer to get underneath and i was like you know what i'm gonna use that i'm gonna learn from him and <laughs> do that But yeah, there's, I, I will say, uh, so like, obviously, as you know, I talk a lot about playing WoW, which I've been doing some of this last week. Um, I don't know about as of Wednesday, t today's date is not after the reset. However, as of the date of the video being released, Wednesday will be a new week. And uh, it's an unpleasant week to play for dungeon content. So I'm probably going to be playing a lot of SnowRunner. I might. I'm not going to promise you anything. But uh, we might do some... I don't know if I want to start a whole new series. I don't know. I'm probably going to play a lot of SnowRunner. Maybe I'll play a lot of Couch SnowRunner. It's a good week to play Couch SnowRunner. we got some plans on... I believe it's tomorrow thursday to do where am i going here i need to go oh there's an upgrade right there it shows it okay you need to go this way and get that upgrade i don't know the best way to get off of this path so we're just gonna follow it yeah see and there's another scout fuel trailer up here Where is well, that's where the concrete blocks are. Um okay, so oh and there's another scout fuel trailer. So yeah, there's two more scout fuel trailers for sure. So yeah, there is four total. Well, it is what it is. Yeah, there's plenty of fuel on this map. My initial take of there not being enough fuel on this map is uh, definitely wrong. <clears throat> let me, uh, let me see. See if I can do controller and coffee again. <sighs> oh, that's good. That's some good coffee. It's fresh. Okay, so down there, you know what? We're just going to leave this trailer here and we'll hook back up to it. In fact, uh, no, because we're going to be filling stuff in the trailer here in a second. We would like to, oh, you know what? I should probably uh, just track that task right away. This guy. We want to get that done as well. So if I can, today's goal is just completing White Valley Scouting. What's this for? Hey, Star. Which is funny because we've got that, uh, there's that mod Pay Star that I was testing out as well. It was still, uh, so the thing I noticed about that truck when I was testing it, which is why I'm not using it. Um, very good. Again, had some good upgrades. Did allow you to carry some extra fuel, which that truck desperately needs. But uh, the fuel economy was just as terrible as the original paste. I remember, I remember buying one of those once and thinking, God, this thing just sucks gas. Okay, so we got that upgrade, and then up here is where we get our small pipes, which is a two-slot. We're just going to slap it in the bed, and then we hit, we need to get a concrete blocks from the warehouse sort of along the east path. As well, but I think we're going to just continue going this way for scouting purposes. we at 
What have we had for time? Actually, we could just drop it off, too. We could go north and drop this off. Seems we're going to be kind of going around. Uh, oop. Okay. Concrete block. Oh, wait a minute. Can you get concrete blocks here? You can. Small pipes. Okay, I can get both here. Ah, gosh darn it. Okay, let's uh remove that. And put this in the truck. And then put a concrete blocks in the loading platform and we'll just load that right away. Then we can go and turn that in when we get around there. This is a very icy path, by the way, down here, if I remember correctly. Which is why I definitely wanted to stay with chained tires. This will just put down right wherever it goes and pinch it with the end of the crane and we should be good to go. Come on, turn. Turn that way. I try to OCD it a little bit. Perfect. Okay, so let's see. We need to... Yeah, there's another fuel trailer right here. There's a scout fuel trailer right here. I'm just noticing it on the map. Um, is there anything to get this? Oh, there is a watchtower up here. Yeah, let's go get this watchtower. Screw it. Oops. Just, I'm just going to put lines this way. And then it eventually goes up there. Uh, we can, before we make the turn, we'll drop off our fuel trailer. I don't feel like taking overloading with a trailer up this hill and we'll pick it up again when we get back down and then we make our way around let's uh top off real quick even though we're probably okay I think we can just go straight over this stuff. Just got to dodge these. Uh... Tree trunks. Those are some of the worst enemies in SnowRunner. Get hung up on one of those or damage, damage something really bad. Pop a tire really bad. And they like hide them in places too. Very clever. Oh, that's right. This is the sun. The lights are the sun. So yeah, we go around here, we get this. We can swing down. We gotta get the east side of the map too. The question is, is do I do this all with this load? And a fuel and a little baby scout fuel trailer, or do we just leave the scout fuel trailer somewhere at some point? Uh, this is interesting. This is a bit of a tight path. I can I can wiggle my way in here. I think. Maybe not. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Maybe we'll leave it up on the road. Just so there's something along the main path. Sort of what I like to do too is just kind of park fuel trailers in places. Okay, let's turn around. 
get ourselves back down the hill without any mishaps, preferably. I wonder if there is a better way to take out of here. We'll take a look. But can I go down right here instead of making that sharp turn? Let's try it. Oh, yeah. As long as there's no tree stump underneath me. Yeah, we're okay. Yeah, why don't we uh, grab this trailer? We're going to head up to turn this in. And we'll just leave this fuel trailer right at the Y there. That way, if we're coming in and out of the zone, we have a little baby fuel trailer to use. It's still got a couple hundred gallons in it. This one's doing better than the other one. And like I said, there's two more plus the mission. It's a big one, too. It's a low saddle for the mission one. So it's the 938 gallon one or whatever it is. Attach trailer. There we go. Alright, let's just do low here again. Is this the spot that's icy? Yeah, I think it is. It's got some outward lean as well. We're just gonna go really slow. Try and not crash. Yeah, this is it right here. I remember this icy path here and it like being really scary because it looks like you're gonna slide out into the lake but we got chain tires we're okay okay so we have to go there's gonna be a left turn coming up here go up this way yeah, this, this engine and tire combination feels a whole lot more realistic. Feels a lot less, um, like, super fast. Which was sort of dangerous feeling. There we go. Get up this windy path, and then after the windy path, there's a left-hand turn. And then we will be able to turn in this stuff and unlock that tunnel right away. And we'll drop off this fuel trailer too right away. We'll top off and drop it off. This is my left-hand turn. Ooh, that looks muddy. I think I took the perfect line for that. Ended up not really in the mud. So yeah, next week we'll I'll get back to normal where I'm not super far ahead in recordings. Like I said, just holidays and whatnot, I still want to be putting out videos because it's fun to do. I don't want to miss my promised days. One of the things my buddy who did some, some WoW content on YouTube said, if you have a schedule, stick to it. Because that's one of the worst things is to... And people expecting to see something and then they don't see it. He's taking a little break, which good for him. Spending some time with fam and got a new job. He got a new real life job as well, taking up more of his time, but. 
I'll miss playing games with him because he's a good dude. But it's one of the reasons I still play games like World of Warcraft is because it, you get the social aspect, you know? You got friends to play with. Okay, so let's pack this cargo, restore the crane. There we go. Ooh, hey, we're rank 20. Means we could buy the Azov 7, but... Uh, speaking of, how much money do we have? 110. It's not quite enough to buy that thing and upgrade it. I think it was like 160 is what I ended up spending on that thing. Okay, so let's uh, get down to the Y. And then we'll take a look at the map. See if there's anything that I would like to do next. I think we didn't do the east stuff. Map. Uh, let's go here. Refuel. Yeah, 170 gallons of spare fuel just hanging out here. We'll leave that here. Okay, so no, yeah, uh, did we do this? We must have. Sure doesn't look like it. What is this upgrade? It's something. We should go get it. Um, okay, so let's go this way. What did we do this way? And we came all the way up there. Was there a watchtower or something? We got a watchtower. That's what it is. There is an upgrade, like, right on this little island here. And then, did we get all this stuff? We did get all this stuff. Okay, then we're done. Um, did we get the upgrades this way? Uh, you know what? I don't think we did. There's another trailer somewhere. Around here, yeah, there's a sideboard trailer right here, and that means there's an upgrade right here as well. Okay, well, let's go down this way, we'll get this upgrade, and we can be done with this map. That works out. That should be about about right for the episode. Yeah, we didn't we didn't go through this way. You know, we gotta look at these pipelines, make sure they're up. Yeah, this one is. Go this way. I think it's like right in here somewhere and we'll just continue we'll, we'll discover this trailer get the experience from that and then maybe oh we don't have the right you know we could just uh winch it we did experience that you can winch it but no one will not cheat we'll go past it though it's not far from the base i wonder what kind of well there's long this is the long log Oh, there's wooden planks right there. I could have went right there. I didn't even have to go all the way up to the sawmill. Learn something new. All right, so that's where we will... That's the rest of the episode that you're looking at right there. Yep, and then there's, uh, so speaking of watching content, um, been watching some of, Z I'm gonna probably murder your name, so I, I apologize, but it, the fellow Z, Zors, Zorschik, Zorschik, something of that, I probably said it wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, he's got some unique it's like a tutorial that he's doing which is really cool and I'm not sure how he does it but it's like it's like a captioned with this uh, kind of neat like bold font at the bottom and uh, I like it it's uh sometimes sometimes watching on mute as well having those captions like that or like watching I don't know if you guys do this or not. Have you ever watched YouTube videos on your phone where you just watch from your scroll menu and just let it autoplay? I tend to do that as well. Watch with captions. And then, you you know, you go in, you press the like button, and you... <laughs> <clears throat> I 
I definitely binge a whole lot of that. I, f I, I like to call them YouTube holes. You get caught into a YouTube hole. Like there's this one with like shorts of this couple. It's like the most hilarious thing of this couple that they like fill water balloons or balloons with like what looks like shaving cream probably and water and they like hide them in places and like smack each other with them and it's fucking hilarious and the guys laugh i i can't even tell you man he has this laugh that it's, it just makes you laugh. You can't you can't help but not laugh when you hear this guy's laugh. He like splats his wife with this huge thing of like big big balloon filled with like shaving cream and water, and it just like makes this huge mess. And she's just covered, and she's laughing. He's laughing. It's hilarious. But yeah, that that's one of my more recent YouTube holes. Finding this uh random pranks this couple is playing on each other. I am stuck on something. Ooh, ooh. Let's not use that winch. Uh, it was a rock. Blasted rocks, I tell ya. So yeah, we'll go this way, get this last upgrade. Yeah, and then we have one more map to do, and like I said, it'll probably be with the uh, Lodestar. We'll do the we'll do the scouting with an actual scout. We are gonna have to bring a truck, which I think we'll probably grab the Fleet Star and maybe I don't know if that one really needed to be downgraded. I think that one was in an okay state. The Unicorn. We're just gonna call it the Unicorn forever. We'll, we'll take a look in the garage. We'll take it to the garage and give it a once over and make sure it's not like too overpowered. I think we might downgrade the tires. That'd be the one thing I would do. Because it's got, uh, so the JBE mods all have these like super fat snow tires. Or not snow tires. I always say snow tires because I'm from Wisconsin. Anything that you don't use chains on the road, you just use snow tires. Um, the. Uh, studded essentially the ice tires chained slash studded but they're like huge and like but there was a version that had dual rear and single front which i really like but it, i think they're a touch overpowered again so we'll see if maybe they have another choice like this one where it's like the M msh or mhs one with chains maybe downgrade the tires to a more normal tire We'll take a look at suspension and whatnot and kind of make it, like I said, not super overpowered. That was the other thing, too, I liked about the Azov, uh, that Azov 10x10 mod. Um, is it also did not, I don't even think it had the option of, like, overpowered tires. It was just vanilla game tires is all that was available to it. But this is sort of what I was talking about as well, where you can do most scouting tasks now with a off-road truck. You can go and get upgrades, you can squeak through trees, as long as it's not like massive. And then you can also like do bridges and stuff at the same time, because you have a bed and a crane. I remember for a while I used the uh, bandit as a as my scout truck. Just takes so much damage though. It's really tippy and it takes a ton of damage, but it had that, you know, bandit crane, the unicorn crane. Um 
which is like a really good thin profile lets you put a bed on it lets you tow a trailer like i said that's sort of sort of what i like in my hauler trucks is the ability to overload i remember where i learned that from maybe cyrus one of one of the youtubers out there again watching watching other people play learning things Improving your gameplay. But yeah, there's there's some there's some pretty ridiculous overloading videos out there where you have like, I don't know, 19 metal beams or something on one trailer. Yeah. And it's like that is uh excessive is the word I'm looking for, but uh yes. Godspeed. Oh yeah, okay. So there's our la Ooh, there's a whole bunch of tree stumps in here. I see them. They're everywhere. Little grenades just waiting to go off. I see you right there in front of me. Let's go slow through this, make sure I'm not like driving over any. Oh, okay, we're good. I think this is the path. What do we got here? Raised. Ooh, raised for the twin steer. Yes! We can finally put the bigum tires. We still don't have all wheel drive. Maybe we'll use the wind steer coming up. I love that truck. We'll go back to a vanilla game truck so we can. Uh... And again, the vanilla game trucks are perfectly fine in this map. You can use many of them and they're all very good. Ooh, let's see what we got here. We got a uh, metal beams. Metal beams in a trailer. There we go. Okay, so is there... You know what we should do? We should pop by this trailer and just see how much fuel is in it. See how hard it is to get back by it. It is like right up here. Mm -hmm. We're getting back to daytime. It's starting to lighten up again. We can turn off the sun. It's just so bright. Still liking this uh, PlayStation 3 controller setup, by the way. It's still, it's like, it has the issue of being plugged in, but I have always had, like, at least one long cord for when you're playing PlayStation and sometimes you're playing for a while and you burn out your controller and... The other one hasn't been used in a while, so it's dead. So you got to be able to play plugged in sometimes. So I happen to have a pretty long cord still for this old PlayStation 3. It was connected to my PlayStation 3, and I was like, "Oh yeah, let's uh, let's just use this cord." So yeah, I'm playing I'm playing corded because so I still haven't gotten a dongle for Bluetooth. And honestly, it works just fine because I'm in my computer chair and I'm still by my keyboard and mouse. Let's see. Ooh, this is an icky path. Go get this trailer. Uh, I definitely have to go in the water here a little bit. I don't want to like, go over that and tip. Good thing we got a snorkel, huh? Okay, we're submarining. Uh oh boy. Not that one. This is gonna <laughs> I, I was like, this is gonna be one of those cause it's a mod scout. This is one of those that when you're on console, you just don't use this. Because good luck trying to pick a spot with that many different uh, winch points as you're pressing the up button. 
800 times to find the one you want. Ooh, there's a stump right there, too. Man, this is a kind of a jerk path. Look at this. Alright, let's see. How much fuel do you have? Ooh, you are full. Haha. <laughs> yeah, 978 gallons. That means we can turn it back with 98. So we can use almost 900 gallons out of this thing. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be borrowing some fuel from this one. Let's see. Right, oh, this path is definitely the better path right here. It's a little bit of rock underneath yet. Okay, so that's going to be the way we go. We're going to go that way. Follow that path. Get ourselves out of there. Okay. So seeing as we are almost back, we're going to end the episode with a touch early today. A little less than an hour. But, uh... As always, as always, can't talk today. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one.